Hey folks, we're going to do something a little different this time. Uh, it's an unboxing for Alexandria RPG. And my workspace is a little messy. I was just unboxing some uh, magic cards for um, uh, all the 2021 stuff that was released and things that I got. And I got some military stuff on this side and there's my workspace. But we're going to go through some things that we have uh, acquired and have been donated. Let's see. Lost Worlds, Tome of Red Magic, Nova. So I know there's more of these out there, but all these are is just crazy spell cards. And if I can get some more of these, we'll do a video or something on, on a series of these. Uh, those that have been following the channel for a while know that we had the first edition of Hong Kong Action Theater, and sadly it was lost in the mail and we'd love to find another first edition, but found this at a local bookstore, so that gives us second edition at least. Starweb, a play-by-mail game for star-spanning empires. Um, so, <laughs> Flying Buffalo has done all kinds of crazy play-by-mail stuff, and I wanted to look at this and see if this is just uh, strategic gaming, or if there was... Uh, role play in it, or if it's there's stuff in it to that can en enhance uh, role playing games. Uh, Flying Buffalo also makes one of my all time favorite non role playing games, Nuclear War. Uh, look that up; it is an amazing, silly, fun game. Dawning Star. Uh, don't know much about this, but it is a D twenty uh, based system, so it should be easy to learn. Something here I did not know existed. Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula role-playing game. Did you know there was a Bram Stoker's Dracula role-playing game? And I did not. It is glorious and horrible, and man, is it uh, just make me smile. Uh, Gear Krieg. Uh, alternate, modern-esque um, pulp sci-fi um, so the Nazis never fell. Uh, DreamPod 9 has made some pretty good stuff, pretty good games. Uh, we've got um, uh, another Gear Krieg book. So this adds to it. This is the uh, basic rule book. And then we've got the player's handbook. Between the two of them, we should be able to run any game that we want. Um, Hunter the Reckoning Player's Guide. That was something we didn't have in the library. Uh, a state, or actually, that's probably a Greek letter. Um, that's uh, not alpha. That's not alpha, is it? Oh, geez, I don't know. But uh, I don't know much about this game. Uh, some books for Warzone. This is a was a fun game. Um, but I think these might actually be for the. Yeah, these are for the miniature game. Oh, that stinks. Uh, sometimes we get stuff donated that, uh, so Mutant Chronicles was, they had a role-playing game, they had a miniatures game, and they had a uh, uh, collectible card game. Uh, because you can't call it a trading card game. <laughs> so, uh, three Warzone books. These are nice because, uh, I mean, they give us some background. If I play some uh, stuff for Mutant Chronicles, this will give us some more info and background. So all these were uh, picked up either locally at bookstores or donated uh, through uh, individuals that uh, uh, reached out locally and dropped stuff off. Uh, this next batch we purchased, uh, saw this book, Tinker's, da Tinker's Dam, and I... I just saw this for $5 online, reached out to the person, and then they threw in a bunch more books uh, on top of the the uh, <laughs> us buying this. Uh, I only paid $5 for this book, and then it, it just, the book is hilarious. This is, oh, see, 97. This is definitely... This looks more like late 80s, but you had uh, a lot of this stuff running all through the 80s and 90s. Look at the uh, coffee. Has cream and sugar. <laughs> uh, so I think they were doing a Starbucks thing there. 
Let's see. GURPS Ultra Tech that was sent by the same person. GURPS Supers. Uh, GURPS Fantasy Folk. GURPS Cthulhu Punk. GURPS Psionics. GURPS Magic Items 1. GURPS Magic Items 2. Uh, Clan Book Braja. GURPS Robots. One of my favorites, GURPS Undead. And Masquerade, Second Ed. Some of this we already have. Ah, this one we don't. Dark Ages Vampire. This is uh, actually had somebody that was looking for this in the library before I left for Iraq. Oh. Uh, well, somebody went to a book and game company in Lewiston, Idaho uh, with this book. Or at least lived in Lewiston, Idaho with that. Got a second copy of the EverQuest role-playing game uh, handbook based on Sword and Sorcery, which... Uh, was that a D20? I don't... I know Sword and Sorcery did some D20 stuff, but I cannot remember... 100% um, compatible with 3rd third third edition fantasy role-playing. Oh, so yeah, this is probably a D20 book before they really... Uh, started uh, pushing the D20 logo uh, at the Sony Entertainment Online. So I actually look forward to getting some people playing EverQuest. <laughs> Let's take a game that was developed online based upon offline and make it an offline tabletop game. <laughs> uh, these next games were picked up at my local game store. Terror Crux Games, so uh, the Warhammer Wrath and Glory core rules. Been wanting to look at this. Uh, this is a newer game, and who puts this one out? Um, ooh. Ulysses North America. Ooh, additional content. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, haven't got a chance to look through this. I uh, love Warhammer. Uh, if any of you know that uh, I have a giant Warhammer uh, 40k army. Okay, I have a few giant Warhammer 40k armies. Um, Orcs, uh, Pyro Guard, or uh, Astrum Militaris, and uh, Space Wolves in a generic uh, Space Marine army are my, my biggest, but I have something from pretty much everybody. Uh, picked up this Firefly game because we've got the older one. We didn't have anything in the newer one. And then there was the... Uh, Echoes of War, Thrill and Heroics. See, same three characters on the cover. And then been wanting to pick up some Mutant Zero stuff. Uh, I've looked through this. I uh, love the Mutant Zero stuff, so we want to start uh, picking up some more of this. It is a really good game. And then this next batch is a nice donation from New York. Uh, Dear David, my apologies. Uh, for the delay, here are a few RPGs I'm uh, pruning from my shelf. Hope you hope that they're useful to Alexander RPG. And need to go through these and find out what they're worth. Let's see. Golgathan Visions, insights uh, into Golgathia. Uh, should know this world. Uh, this world, sadly... Um, uh, Greg Stafford just passed away not too long ago. Uh, we ended up with a couple books from his collection uh, that his wife was selling. Um, one I, I purchased uh, actually kind of by accident. Another one uh, that we got has been was purchased by somebody and donated to us. So uh, we love getting stuff like that. Let's see, oh, ooh, a sealed Mythic D6. Oh, God. well, if you know me. You know that I adore the D6 uh, system. If this is based upon the, uh, well, it says Mythic D6, so I'll have to go through this, see if this is anything like the West End Games or the Open D6, because I love the West End Games Open D6 uh, system. Ooh, second edition chill. We've got first edition chill. We've never had second ed. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. So creepy. Creepy and amazing. That's what you want to wake up to every morning. I know that's what I, uh, I want to wake up to. Okay, I wake up to an amazing wife. If you've been to a, if you've been to the library, you good chance you've met uh, Mrs. Librarian. Ooh, Undead, a source book for chill. Nice. Oh man, monsters, a source book for chill. I didn't know all this stuff existed. Save the Eternal Society, a source book for chill. Oh man, did not know. All this stuff was, uh, I didn't, really hadn't seen second edition chill. And, oh, Freiburg, 7th C. Oh, welcome to Freiburg. Mm. Really need to get some people playing 7th C in the library. Um, if you know how to play 7th C, uh, drop us a comment down below. And uh, thanks to all the people that donated uh, stuff. And the, looks like uh, whoever donated this was uh, Liz, um, had a, a cat, cat uh, added a bell, so, and this stack of books came from, uh, came to the library from New York, and I'm super excited to get, oh, Chill 3rd Edition, wow, I didn't know Chill made it to 3rd Edition already, jeez, so we've got 1st Edition Chill, we don't have second edition. Now we've got uh, third edition and three of the books for it. That is awesome. Sealed Mythic uh, D6. And an awesome book about an awesome world that um, everyone should get a chance to play in. So, what was your favorite book that we just uh, received? Uh, mention it down below. And... Uh, I'll link down there to Terra Crux Games, where we got those newer books from. And they've donated a bunch of stuff to us in the past. Uh, pretty much every book that was ever created for D&D uh, uh, 3.30 and 3.5 was donated to us by Terra Crux Games uh, a couple years ago. And they have been a big supporter of the library. He gives us a, a, a nice discount. And whenever uh, something comes through, he gives us a holler, says, asks if we need it. Uh, if, we, if we need it, then he picks this up, picks it up, and then uh, usually donates uh, any old stuff to us. So uh, remember, hook up your local game stores, uh, look up your local uh, bookstores, and you know, just keep gaming. Uh, we we got to keep uh, got to keep all this going. Gaming makes um, makes the world better. So get out there, game, and make the world a better place.